the big difference between getting fired and laid off. And I need to break down the two and give you the three extremely important questions you should ask in that situation in order to make the most of it. And you're thinking, how do I make the most of being fired or laid off? Well, folks, in that moment, there's a ton of stuff that we need to learn in order to make sure that moving forward for you, you're in the best possible position. Before I start, my name is JT O'Donnell, 20 year career coaching veteran, used to be in staffing and recruiting, and I've seen over 500 people get laid off, restructured, fired in my lifetime. So I am really well equipped to share this information with you, especially with all the things that we're seeing in the news these days. And I wanna make sure that you get it right or somebody you know gets it right, because sadly, there are gonna be a lot more layoffs and firings in the near future. Okay, so let's get down to it. When you realize that you're being let go, the first thing you have to clarify is are you getting fired for performance or you're getting laid off because of the business's poor performance? Fired, they're steaming, you're, you're the error, you're the problem. Laid off, they're the problem, okay? And this is important because people will be going, I got fired, right? And I got glowing performance reviews. Well, did you get fired or did you get laid off? So you need to ask this in the moment. You need to say, am I being fired for performance or am I being laid off because the company's having problems? Get that. Make sure you hear that. Now, if they say fired for performance, I'm seeing a lot of videos these days of people being blindsided by this. And this just blows my mind because I would never blind some side someone. These days, you should be getting a PIP, a performance improvement plan, um, to try to get back on track before a company fires you. But hey, there are some companies that they're not doing well, so they suddenly decide that you're not doing well and they, they fire you for performance. And that happens a lot. Is it right? Is it fair? No, okay? But if you're being fired for performance, the first thing you have to ask is, can you tell me exactly what I've done wrong that is making my performance subpar? Can you, right? You really wanna get the specifics on that and hear that, right? Second thing you wanna ask them is, will I be getting severance? Will I be getting money? Because it's gonna take people a minimum of two months to get their job search up and running and even longer, the, the more money you make, right? The more complex the job search process becomes. So you wanna ask, will I be getting severance? Sadly, most companies aren't gonna give you severance when you're getting fired, right? Because in their mind, you are a poor performer, so they shouldn't pay you for that. But it's worth it to ask, okay? And third thing you wanna ask is, what will be said about me in a reference? Um, and can I get that in writing? And the reason for that is you wanna know when people reference check if they're gonna be saying bad things about you and you want it in writing because if they deviate off that, right? So they tell you they're not gonna say anything bad and then they do say something bad, well, then you have cause to go back and go after them for that. So the way to keep them in line is to make sure you ask exactly what will be said about me in a reference and I want that in writing, all right? So those are three minimum questions that you wanna make sure that you address. Now, if they tell you you're being laid off, the first question you want to ask is, how much severance will I be receiving? Not if, I want you to say how much severance. Sadly, a lot of companies are not offering severance to people they're laying off, and I, I think that's criminal. Um, but you should be able to ask for that and negotiate, because if they're not thinking about it, well, now you're planning it in their head. And say to them, you're laying me off, it's a competitive job market, I'm gonna need you know salary to cover me while I'm looking for work, right? So how much severance will I be getting? Second question is, Am I eligible for rehire? This is really important, folks, okay? Because if you're being laid off, it has nothing to do with you. So you should be eligible for rehire. But something I've been seeing lately is people being told they're getting laid off, but then are not eligible for rehire. What's that about? And the reason that concerns me is if you go tell a future employer you're being laid off, and then they go do a reference check, and they ask if you're eligible for rehire, and they say no, now it actually sounds like you got fired and you lied. So you want to make sure that they say you're eligible for rehire, which leads to the third one, which is where will people call for my references and what will be said? Again, please get that in writing. You always want to get the references in writing so that you can hold the company to that. And those are the minimum three things you do if you're laid off. Now, there's more to this, of course. And if you're interested in really learning how you should handle every aspect of being fired or laid off, I have a course specific to this inside the Work It Daily platform that you could access free for seven days. Um, it's called Fired to Hired, and it covers being fired or laid off. Uh, and it will really show you everything from that perspective because this is an opportunity. You wanna make the most of this opportunity when it's happening to you. It's a lot harder to go back later on. Not to say that we can't, 
So if you've been fired or laid off recently, you may wanna go watch this course to see what we can go and salvage for you, but most importantly, how we position you going forward um, so that you can get a great new, better paying job and make this the best thing that ever happened to you. And that's the last thing I wanna say about this. So much of the time when people get fired or laid off, it turns out to be the best thing that ever happened to them, but that's a choice. We need to embrace that. And it starts with you getting the knowledge and information to handle this as effectively as possible, okay? All right, I hope that helped. Keep the questions coming, folks, on this app. You know, I'm trying to help 10 million people get new, better paying jobs, and your questions are what shapes the advice I give her each and every day. Good luck, go get them.